So, let's say, hypothetically, you just beat your Geometry Dash level. Good job, now you can post it online. Uh oh, someone found a secret way. Better fix the bug. Now that you've beaten the level again, you go to your About section. Here's some nice comments, and a little change in the version number. It has increased to 2. Millions of levels in Geometry Dash have been updated, and there's a variety of reasons why. Maybe there's a bug in the gameplay, some decoration you want to improve on. In rarer cases, we've seen rated levels completely change their difficulty. An infamous case of this is the Janus Miracle. Around the time the original creator of this level, Megadeer, sold their account, the level would be hacked to become literally impossible. There was also Zero Kabi, which was updated from a secret way easy demon to a somewhat difficult insane demon. However, the level I'm talking about has had a very toxic relationship with updates. This level was intentionally changed by a creator multiple times after gathering some criticisms. This level would quickly spiral out of control and it would become the most infamous case of level updating in Geometry Dash history. This is the story of Battle of the Shades. To fully understand the story of Battle of the Shades, we have to understand the creator behind this level. His username is GD Virus. Virus's creating career started in early 2.0 with two obscure troll levels. Soon enough though, he would have his first big break. This is a level called Pits of Hell and it was featured by Robtop. This level had its flaws like subpar decoration and most notably borderline unreadable gameplay due to the community not being able to use alpha triggers and move triggers correctly. Everything else seemed to be alright though. The YouTuber Merg would make a gameplay commentary on this level and the level was graced with thousands of downloads. However, here we can see cracks forming with Virus's mentality. He disliked the comments joking and making fun of his work and he even had some comments snapping back at the haters. Even if he didn't like the comments though, he would take the criticisms to heart and try to improve Pits of Hell. After the level got a slight decoration update, he would move on from this level and make his second demon level. He would dub this the Battle of the Shades. Battle of the Shades in of itself is a weird monochromatic level that got some attention. It would be mostly positive. It even got attention by players like Carmel and Michigan posting replays of it on their channel. Heh. <laughs> like anything on the internet though, the more tension something gets, the more hate it inevitably receives. After some comments mocking the level, Virus would hit his boiling point. Instead of a slight decoration update like he did with Pits of Hell, he would change this level completely. The question is, did he change it for the better or for the worse? The first major change of this level was apparent, but hey, at least it looks somewhat passable. Oh, how nice. It seems we are taking our own personal boat trip. Into hell. Virus had made this change to snap back at the haters, but this would just stand to flames. Interestingly enough, Robtop seemingly didn't notice this, so the level would proceed as normal. Add some unsettling laughter and you got yourself a controversial level. Unlike many other levels that face drastic changes like a secret way, this level wouldn't have a secret way or anything making it a free demon. If anything, it was harder than the initial version. However, if I told you that this was the biggest change that was made to this level, I would be a liar. This level is what Virus dubs as Battle of the Shades Phase 3. Ironically, Virus had brought more attention and hate to this level by updating it than if he had just left it alone. This update clearly showed that Virus had doubled down and he would make an update even more controversial than the first one. This phase was immediately covered by the Demon Slayer Lukewilizer. He did a no-clip run of the level and claimed that it was one of the 20 hardest demons. Clearly it was hack updated. With no proof of verification and this undecorated demon level ruining the integrity of the rating system, the Demons List team would decide to remove this level from their list. Regardless, it would stay rated. After Virus had a third update to this level, the hate he received had seemingly doubled, but it would be nothing compared to what was about to happen to him. On January 23rd of 2018, a popular Geometry Dash YouTuber known as C1997 would upload a new video called My New Least Favorite Geometry Dash Level. Quite obviously, Battle of the Shades was the target of the video. At first, C said he didn't even mind the level itself. He even complimented it a bit, but soon he explained why he disliked the level. Now, I understand that all the hate could have been pretty annoying, but come on, just like, make the level better or something. Making a completely different level in an original level is a risk when it comes to updating a rated level, but this was just as bad and pointless. This wasn't even building on what was made. 
It was too short and was more about sticking it to the haters in a messed up way rather than rising above criticism. Until finally, he would end off this rant by blaming Robtop's lack of moderation when it came to this level. Robtop is too lazy, and this is yet another massive flaw in the way he runs GD that really annoys me. This video would bring a tidal wave of relevancy to this level and a new era of this level's history would commence. While Battle of the Shades Phase 3 was difficult, it definitely wasn't impossible. Because of this, a brawl was sure to start brewing. Two top players would start competing to be the first victor of this level. These two players were R. Wuxi and Metamans. Wuxi would at first progress faster than Meta until he had finally reached the 90% mark. Now, only 10% more to go. At 98%, Wuxi had died to the most trolly part of the level and soon after, Metamans would hit the 90% mark. Meta Mans would be the first and only victor of this phase of Battle of the Shades. After this, the level wouldn't stand as form for long. It seemed even after the C video and the constant criticisms, Virus had not learned his lesson. With a new wave of attention, of course, bring a new wave of hate, and then Virus would update this level to phase 4. Before I mention this, something I will mention is that Robtop had ignored this account completely. Virus posted two levels that he put legitimate effort into and they wouldn't be rated. That being said, people were hyped to see what the next phase had to offer. This phase was once again a complete reskin, and some players would immediately cover it. It was an extremely difficult layout that was approximately one minute long and used a new song known as Mandragora. Virus would decide to start a creator contest. The rules were simple. The player that made the best decorated version of this layout owns the official version of Battle of the Shades. The winner of this contest would be a creator called RealVet. While RealVet was working on Battle of the Shades, Virus had been developing an extension to the Phase 4 layout. The level now doubled in size and was harder than ever. However, it wouldn't take long for Virus to make one crucial mistake that would completely alter the history of Battle of the Shades. He would add a 20 second start to the level which people would take advantage of. In this first icon part, if you jumped and precisely tapped a dash orb, you would land on the edge of these structures. Continue jumping and your gravity gets flipped, and you're on some slopes now. He says you found a secret, and he tries to tell C that he didn't actually hack Battle of the Shades. Unlikely, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That doesn't matter compared to what's gonna happen next. So anyways, you keep going, and your icon disappears. Normally you're meant to die to this troll seeker way. This seemed to be Virus's last attempt to stick it to the haters, however, here's the crucial mistake. If you tap above the ES, your momentum should be enough to go over the ship portal. And you've done it. You've beaten Battle of the Shades Phase 4. The reason I call it a mistake is that Virus quickly patched it after. However, the damage had already been done and the level had been finally unrated. People don't know why Robtop took so long. Some say he was too busy working on 2.2 to notice. Some say he just saw it and enjoyed seeing the chaos ensue. Needless to say, once there was a Seeger way, this became way too much of a blemish on the rating system to be kept starred and after that Battle of the Shades would slowly fade in relevancy. Interestingly enough, people would try to beat Phase 4 with varying success. The main impressive run of this layout came from Wuxi, who did a 53-100% to 100 run of the level, although the first half was too difficult for him to get any progress on. Meanwhile, decorating the layout was slow, and RealVet would be too busy working on other collab parts to give Battle of the Shades much attention. Eventually, Virus just fully threw away Battle of the Shades and it turned into a text-based level. Let's read. There is a door. Bright light shines through the keyhole. There is a boy who wants to enter this door, but he has no key. All he can do is look through the keyhole. He could break down the door, but then the light would turn into darkness. So the boy waits for a key to show up. The boy watches as others walked up to the door and receive a key to get inside. He walks up to the door again and waits. Soon a key appears, but it doesn't fit the lock. Another door leading to darkness opens. The boy is blinded and mistakes the darkness for light. He starts walking towards the door, but a girl is in the way. The only way the boy can get to the door is by hurting the girl, but he loves her, so he cannot pass. Other doors open up, but the boy has no interest in passing through them. The boy is forever stuck in front of the locked door, the light blinding him from the other doors. 
but then he got another key. It looked as if it would finally fit the lock, but before trying it, the boy noticed a slight crack in the key. He was certain it would unlock the door, so without even trying it, he threw it away in anger. The key didn't fit the door anyway. The boy decided to never trust another key again. Finally, he could see the other doors. What an amazing poem. I definitely think Vire should be an author rather than a creator. Well anyways, these days Battle of the Shades was reverted back to its old phase 4 layout. Decoration Progress is going to be restarted because it's already been outdated. RealVet is still going to be the sole decorator of this project and the verifier still hasn't really been chosen. If this was released today unnerfed, it would probably be a top 10 extreme demon so whoever wants to step to the plate of verifying this is going to have a hard time defeating the level. Overall, Battle of the Shades teaches a very interesting lesson to early creators. Sometimes, thicker skin is needed when dealing with the amazing Geometry Dash comment section and maybe if Fire showed a little more resilience he would still have 4 creator points and Battle of the Shades would just be a gimmicky easy demon for anyone to still play and slay. That being said, I am kind of interested to see what route this level will go. The story of Battle of the Shades isn't finished yet and who knows, one day you might stumble upon a version of Battle of the Shades in the featured page, but only time will tell.